Hi, this video is designed to teach you the basically an introduction or the basics of how to use the MindLab Exchange 2 software program that came with your CTX. Um, very simple program to use. Now, first of all, as a beginner, you're going to ask yourself, why do you even use this piece of software? You use this piece of software to create patterns. That's the main reason. You can also use it to store things like your find points and your waypoints that you've tracked while you've been out in the field. Um, so let's start with the first thing, which are why even use this? What are your patterns? How to do that? All right. So if you look at my mouse on the screen, you can see what I'm going to do. So the first thing you see on the left hand side, you see all file recycle and you see a couple folders. These are simply uh, how you're going to navigate file all. When you plug your CTX into the computer, it should automatically register up here. Right above all, you're going to see a CTX 3030. That's how you're going to transfer things to and from your CTX. If you look over here, this middle column, these are all your programs that you've run. If I scroll down here, you can actually see like here's Beach, Relics, Silver. These are the preset programs that came with your CTX. You can see up at the top here, it says all because they're GPZ detector. So you're going to want to click 3030 just so your stuff is here so that those GPZ stuff is not. And then on the right hand side, these are your find points and your waypoints. You can see if I scroll in here where I'm located in Wilmington, North Carolina, so I have find points. And I'll show you those in a little bit. All right, so let me first show you the pattern. So the first thing you can do is you can actually edit just the pre so preset patterns that come with your CTX. You can see your basic preset pattern that came with it. But I don't want to do that. I'm going to actually edit and create a new one. So what I'm going to do is at the top of the screen here, I'm going to click this add new CTX mode. I'm going to put it in my samples where my others are. I'm going to click OK. And right now it's going to pop up this default screen. So what happens here for these patterns? Everything that's blue or colored in here um, is something that your detector is not going to detect. This is based on the numbers that you see, like this square right here is 1-1, one, one. you know, 1-2, one, or 3-1, I meant, 4-1, 5-1. So this would be 2-1, or 1-2. So you can see that. So Really, the line that we want as detectorists are the 12, because that's where our gold is going to fall. It's also where our pennies, dimes, nickels, quarters are going to fall, and some of our silver for the most part. So, you know, if we go down here, we can see, you can see the little movement down here, what it says each one is. So really, this 12 line is where most of our things are going to fall. But let's say we create a pattern. Let's actually go right here. This is a basic this basically detects everything but your last line, which is a lot of your iron. So let's say, let's see, first thing I want to show you here. Let's say that I'm out in the field and I keep getting a hit right here. And every time I get a hit right here, it's some rusty, odd shaped thing that's just like a soda can, just a rusty soda can keep hitting right here. If I don't want to hear that while I'm out in the field anymore, I can simply do this. Create a new pattern, and now I'm going to detect everything except this last line and this square right here. So that's the point of the patterns, is that I'm only going to hear what I want to. It's based on the numbers. All right, so the first thing to even use these patterns is I'm going to enter a name, a description, I'm not going to describe what these modes are, so you have to know what you're detecting. Like me, I'm on the beach, so I'll tell you what my settings are as I go through this. I personally like the long response or the pitch hold. So I have to, you have to read about which, which of each of these do and which you prefer. I use recovery fast, I mean recovery deep, and I use the seawater setting. Because I'm on the beach, I have to use seawater, and I like recovery deep. I also prefer low trash, but you can read what each of these do. And I prefer the sizing pinpoint mode. You can choose normal or sizing, whichever is your preference. It's the great thing about the CTX is you can actually customize what each of these are. Then you create your pattern. Your pattern depends on what and where you're hunting. So for each person, this is going to be completely different. I can 
take things away. So this is actually adding, and now I'm going to hear what's in here. So if I put it down here like this, I'm going to actually start to hear a lot of iron. If I want to fill it in, you can see you can fill it in by a certain amount, or you can actually drag and create. So if I did this, I would now hear nothing good because I've covered that 12 line. So you want to set your pattern to whatever you can want to do. And you can actually create two discrimination patterns for each of these settings. So you can create two. So usually what I do is I create one that has a little bit of discrimination, almost like the default thing you saw when we started here. And then I create an open one that hears everything. And I kind of go back and forth between the two, but that's all your preference. What's really cool about the CTX is if you click up here on the tone ID, this is discrimination pattern, this is the tone ID. We can see that we have the basic tone. So right now, the default is 50 conductive tones. That's hearing nothing. That's hearing it loud. I think that the best two ways to listen on this, there are a bunch of options here, and you need to play with it and figure out what is best for you. It's going to be different in every situation. Me personally, I really like the combined. What the combined does, it allows me to choose five different areas, four on the top, one at the bottom. And what I actually do is I move this around a little bit. So, so you can move each of these. I move this middle one to be about what a nickel is going to sound like. So my nickels sound different. This is mostly my gold are going to be in these two. I'm going to have this. I'm going to make it so that I'm going to hear that 1237, which is a penny. And then this will be my dimes, quarters, and silver and stuff like that. I mean, everything can be different on here too. But for the most part, those it's going to look something like this. And then my lower line, I usually put down here somewhere. I'm not looking at specific squares right now. I'm just showing you an example of what it could look like. And this is all my iron stuff I ignore. But I like to keep the screen open just like this so that I can hear my iron and I can hear each of these targets. And then what I do is I set it. So right now, this is on a default like silence. I don't like that. I like to be able to hear this a little bit. So you can hear that now. And actually what I would normally do is I'd put this all the way up. I like to really utilize these a lot. I think that's about what it would be like for me. Something along those lines. But I really like this combined mode. Once you're done, you save it. It's going to have a name. As soon as you save it, you're going to see it over here. You can see I have a trash setting. I have a beach setting that I use. Plug your CTX in. Your CTX is going to appear right here above this all. All you simply do is drag it right onto your CTX, and all of a sudden the pattern's on your machine. You can make these patterns on your machine. You do not need this software for that. The advantage is it's a lot easier to do with this software. One of the other cool things that I am doing, and that's it. That's all you need to do, especially when you first start out. Um, once you start getting more involved, I really think that the uh, GPS settings are very cool. I've just started playing around with the five fine points. Essentially what that means is each time that I am, I find something, I can click a fine point. And I'll do it right here. This is a very popular spot, so I'm not, you know what, I won't even show where it is. It's, it's, it doesn't even matter. This is a very popular spot. Tons of detectorists are here all the time, so I'm not worried about showing this spot on my map. But um, Essentially, what I do is each time I find a nickel, quarter, or a piece of jewelry, I click a find point. And you can see how cool this is. I can see exactly where the find, where it was located. I can see what the number is, what hit, um, and I can even name it and say like exactly what it was. I just know it's one of three things for me. And what I'm doing is I'm going to start to find patterns of where I'm consistently finding more stuff. Um, I literally just started using this feature, so uh, I hardly have any of these. I just started using them. And you can see you upload them to the, from the machine, and you can track them. Pretty cool stuff. Anyway, that's it. Thank you.